the time is so dangerous. You're in the fight of your life right now for your eternal soul. There's two forces now operating on this earth. Are you prepared for the heavenly kingdom to come? Or you're about to surrender yourself and your soul to the accursed? of Allah that we are still in existence. If we want our soul moving towards Allah then we learn magnetism. The science of the soul and this world of light and this world of energy is going to be based on this binary code on and off, who's on, who's off. That on and off means charge and no charge. If Allah send the energy, that's on. When Allah push the energy away, it's off. All our electronics, all our technology is based on this power on, power off. This is what makes the circuit, goes on and off, on and off. When it's on, it's a plus, when it's off, it's a minus. Islam is all about this energy. Islam means submit, means what? Be negative. You're going to take the negative charge, Allah is the positive. Take a path in which to be nothing, no one, no one, no, no, never be the one. It's in the word. And as a result of not being the one, Allah asked then, submit, Islam. As soon as you Islam, and that's why we say it's not a noun, it's a, it's a verb, it's an action. Every aspect of my life when I understood this is then I'm going to be the negative and I'm asking to move towards the positive towards Allah and everything that Allah loves is positive and me, I'm negative. I have my character defects that I'm trying to rid myself from and that's why I have to submit. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I don't submit to myself, I don't trust myself, I don't want myself, I don't want my ego. So I become someone whom is trying and struggling to be nothing. As I become nothing and keep myself a nuqt, a dot, a nothing, Allah then says, you will draw close to me. If you realize and bring yourself to nothing, its exchange will be that you move towards Allah And it has to be at the level of the soul, not the mind where you accepted Islam in your mind 
And they say, they came to Prophet the Arabi and said, we believe. Belief is the level of the soul and Allah clarified, no, 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 tell them they merely accepted you. Belief is not so easy. Means in our life is not that we just accepted Islam but are we living Islam? And living Islam is very simple, you're negative Allah's positive. And any reference towards moving to the Divine, my life was to render myself to be nothing. If I lower my charge then Allah's juzba and energy will begin to dress me and pull me towards His Divinely reality and that's on and off. And in our lives when we understood that, that the magnetism, the draw towards Allah, so how can you submit? That's why people are trying to find Islam through their head or they're trying to submit through their head. And awliyaullah come from their teachings and their connections to teaching. This is not through the head because that's not Islam, you won't enter into anything. You'll think you're in Islam, you think that you accepted something but you don't feel anything and before you know their Islam is very crazy, out doing all sorts of crazy things and they post it. Now everyone can see the sins of people that they glorify their sins. And they're hoping they can post it enough so that the bad becomes normal and everybody can begin to do these bad things. It has nothing to do with Islam. Shaitan is in this world with you to make you feel like you're one. Then every type of badness that they do, they're not entering into submission. They're entering into oneness as a result of of not submitting, they become one. They talk a lot, expose themselves a lot, do every incorrect action because a negative with a negative makes them like they're a positive. So they falsely believe they're one and arrogance and pride enters into them and they're no longer drawing near to Allah and how shaykhs can speak. And people say, how are you going to say that? Because the very… the science of it and the science of the soul is all, is all clear, Allah made it to be clear. As long as you become one, you're drawing. So what, what is this word in English? You're repelling, you become repulsive, <laughs> you're repulsive to me. These are words of people why, where the root of that was repulsive, means you're repelling from me, you're not drawing near to me, you're repelling from me, you're becoming repulsive because your oneness that shaitan is putting into your mind is pushing you away from me. I am the one, Allahu Ahad and there is nothing like unto Allah When we mastered that understanding that makes all our life to begin to submit. If we didn't master that at the door, every subsequent understanding will be lost to you. How are you going to submit to your husband? You don't submit to Allah. How are you going to submit to Prophet You don't submit to Allah How do you submit to Islam when you don't submit to Allah if through the door we don't understand that and I'm speaking always to myself, it's always a reminder to myself that the only way the fires and the energy comes, the beatific nights come, if you felt like, oh an energy didn't come, all these beatific things didn't come, well then let's reevaluate. are we submitting? And so then every night you take an accounting, Ya Rabbi what did I do wrong? to make myself a one and what could I have done to make myself a nothing? Very simple, what we call muhasaba. So then in our life my muhasaba is what am I doing wrong 
every sin that makes me to feel like I'm a one. Who argue with this person that was with one? Why did you have to argue with that? You felt it hurt, you felt whatever it is, well that would have made you more nothing. When you have to validate and vindicate yourself, you're becoming a one. Insan al Kamil, by author and spiritual guide Shaykh Nurjan Marakhmadi, describes that in order to be known, the Divine created a sublime treasure for all of creation. The glorious light and soul of the Insan al Kamil, Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. Vast universes, including every particle in existence, came into manifestation through this all encompassing ocean of perfection. Order on Amazon.com read the Qasa of Awliya, they would stand at a city entry and smile and people would come and smack them. They didn't like that religious character or person and they actually went to the city place on that wall of the entry and people would abuse them, throw something at them, harm, harm them whenever they spoke because they understood that Allah was dressing them. As much as they negated themselves, Allah was giving them qutra until each wali would speak, Sayyidina Abu Yazid al-Bissami qadda sallahu alayhi wa you look at the audio stories of Naqshbandiya, he was famous Abu Yazid to speak and give sobats and his people would throw rocks at him. They would be confused with his uloom and his knowledges and one time they stoned him so bad that they took him into a state of almost death, they threw him into a garbage heap thinking they finally killed him, got rid of these kind of talks, they threw him in a garbage heap and then the dogs came after him because he started to become a little bit conscious and eat some of the food, the dog came and got angry at him. Then all of a sudden the dogs to, to bother and the dogs got angry, Ya Abu Yazid what are you doing in this area? This is our food, why are you eating from here? Again, again humiliation and he, when he got better, he said, Ya Rabbi from what I've been dressed with, I pray that you make me to be better and I go back again and do that. And they can again stone me, means throughout our lives we'll find many examples of being nothing and our accounting. The ones who want to succeed in tariqah, they understand the talks, my path is nothing. Every night I'll take an account on how I got closer to nothing or how shaitan fooled me to be something. If I defended myself and had to fight everybody back, oh then I put a category that that was one of the be something category, so I moved farther from home. If people attacked me, backbited me, that's why when they backbite us, don't talk back, don't leave it alone, Allah's raising your servant. Then you became more than nothing. When big people start to attack you, you became more than nothing. So you took a life in which to take a hisab, which direction am I going? If everything I have to defend, everything I have to fight, everything I have to go over, Shaitan is fooling me to be a one. I have to post this, everything inappropriate I got to do, I got to say, I got to say when, when my, my child was born, when my child was sick, when my child is this. For what? Why are you making yourself a one? Keep your life hidden, keep your, your entire character to be hidden. If you want to draw close to Allah, if that's your goal, if your goal is something else, well then that's, that's you know dunya, 
that will give you. If you become too much one, what happens is then we repel. And as you begin to repel, you begin to come further and further and further away from Islam until you begin to dislike the shaykhs, dislike the heavenly realm, dislike all of the, what Allah has given and then they start to give debates, wow we need to eat halal, why we have to follow Islamic rule, why we have to do, why, 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 why. And shaitan made them then to think like they're Pharaoh and they're the one. They left the field and the gravitational pull of Allah and they went into the accursed. Allah's greatest field and honour was the love of Sayyidina Muhammad If you're not drawing close to that in these last days of the, the accursed one entered onto this earth, there's no three, you're this side or that side. There's no third side and every book has the same understanding. There's a heavenly side, thy kingdom come, the kingdom is who? So then the kingdom will show itself and the accursed one will show himself. So then that, these two forces are on this earth, is your pull going towards negative to be a nukh? If you become no, you're drawing close to Allah If through social media and environment and fighting and yelling and screaming and everything in life making you to be one, you're drawing into His territory. And if you pass this middle mark on Squid Games they had this tug of war, there's a rope where Allah says, hold tight to that rope, there's a flag on this rope. If your flag pushes to this side and you pass Allah's border or limit, the gravitational pull of Dajjal, the accursed one will take the servant. So then this tug of war is now moving, moving. Who's taking themselves to be towards Allah? Then this is very the characteristic, there's no other mental thing, oh I'm very good in my mind, I'm like this, I'm like this, no, no, no. You do your own hisab. If in every action you felt you became more negative, a nukh, the dot, then you drew close to Allah But if in your actions every night are more towards the one, more towards I showed myself, I identified myself, I, I vindicated myself, then I became more the one. That's the danger. When the shaykhs understood that, then Allah gave to them, then the reality of my one is the love of Sayyidina Muhammad Qul inni kuntum tuhibbunallah because to have the one is to have the love of Allah How do you get the love of Allah Pray? Allah didn't say, I give you love if you pray. Pay? Allah didn't say, I give you love if you pay, that would be weird. So what would be the love? What, how to gain Allah's love? Allah gave in Holy Qur'an, قُلْ إِنِي كُنْتُمْ تُهِبُونَ اللَّهِ فَاتَّبِيُونِي وَيُهِبُكُمْ Tell them Prophet people who will be reading this message and people who will be listening to you, tell them if they want my love, if they want to be with the one but tabiuni follow you with their life, with their death, with their entire existence, I want to be Muhammadiyun and follow the way of Sayyidina Muhammad who is the master of nukht from prophets who were big and crowned number ones, came and I'm nothing. Although the most powerful prophet of Allah no reviving dead, no lifting carpets and flying in the air, no parting rivers and all from the hand and the, and the power of Sayyidina Muhammad but came onto the earth and showed nothing because he wanted to show the prophets, I am the perfect submission and Abd, Abdullah.
the shaykhs are trained in this reality. They actually when they connect on a talk at that level they see themselves in submission at the feet of Prophet and they lend their being for the tajalli to enter. They're not present, they're not sharing the ear with each other, they're saying, I'm out, please enter and begin to address, begin to, to dress my physicality and my soul with that presence. And as a result they are in submission in the audience out. That binary code is their entire existence, they're not both on, how could both be in the same field? They go off, they see that one presence come and that light enters in, that light is on, they're off. With that love every day what I did to draw closer to the love of Prophet or did I come against what Prophet brought to us? If I came against it, I'm moving away from his way, I'm moving away from his holy sunnah, I'm moving away from his holy representation. Then I can feel on that line I'm drifting. So the system of muhasaba very easy, it's easy to understand. You write it, you understand it every night, I'm checking am I getting closer to Prophet or am I drifting? We pray that Allah give us more and more understanding and that dress and light is, is not by the mind but just simple in our life that I'm nothing, I'm nothing. I'm nothing. And as a result, the fires and the dress and the lights inshaAllah to dress us and bless us. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifoon, as salaamun al mursaleen, wa hamdulillahi rabbil alameen, wa hurmat Muhammad al Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al Fatiha. If money could just grow on trees, there would be no need for this message. Since it doesn't, let us show you where your generous donations go. We film, edit, and produce weekly television shows of divinely knowledge throughout Canada and the UK, as well as live stream internationally on Facebook and YouTube. Sheikh Nurjan's ever-growing online presence is the result of continuous financial input. And with your financial assistance and participation, this rapid growth will continue. Our Muhammadan Way app is continuously upgraded and improved, providing an all-encompassing Islamic Guide. In addition to the Muhammadan Way app, NurMuhammad.com is a website of immense knowledge and comprehensive Islamic teachings that is updated daily. Your ongoing support also enables a team of editors to compile books of heavenly wisdom from Sheikh Nurjan's teachings. One of our longest ongoing initiatives has been providing basic necessities to those most in need worldwide. There have been over 600 water wells established in rural communities across Pakistan already. We continue to support and maintain multiple orphanages, providing a safe haven for hundreds of orphans, encouraging a pleasant environment for them to flourish. There are now multiple food vans operating across many cities worldwide with our many volunteers ensuring the needs of the most vulnerable are met. Your ongoing donations will help us continue to spread the love and example of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. Become a shareholder in immense blessings and go to MuslimCharity.com.